We visited with Rich Melvin from the Lakeside neighborhood in Duluth, Minnesota to talk about the two rain gardens built in their yard in 2010. We asked Rich about maintenance issues, what he learned from doing this project, and whether he was satisfied and would recommend rain gardens to others. When you take a, a, a look at the house, there's a lot of roof area, um, oftentimes there's a uh, sidewalk, um, driveway area, and that is surface that doesn't absorb water. So the rain gardens are intended to uh, be a, a place where this water can collect and then slowly infiltrate into the ground rather than quickly running down the driveway or down the sidewalk into the storm sewer. As far as a homeowner goes, you know, we are dealing with, in our area, some really clay soils where water um, uh, accumulation tends to be a problem. And it's uh, kind of been a solution for us. We, we wanted to have some naturalized landscaping in. Um, it's difficult to, to get things to grow well in our clay soils and these rain gardens have been a really nice addition to our landscape. So there's been very little maintenance to do other than just the average things that you would do to a garden. Uh, dress it with some mulch, uh, pull a few weeds, uh, you know, just look at the plants now and then for general health and uh, uh, what the wildlife doesn't do for pruning. I, I go in and do a little bit of pruning, but really in these, this first year, the goal has been to get the plants to grow in, fill in, get the roots down, and really start uh, doing their job. It's really amazing how well it works. Uh, prior to having the rain garden, our sump pump would go off and all the neighbors would kind of moan because there would be this river of mud coming from where our sump pump outletted down the street and they had to walk through mud to get to their cars. Uh, it, it was really a constant problem. This garden collects all of that water that comes out of the sump pump and it, it holds it for a short period of time, so it'll fill up and then it will run out slowly and we'll have a little bit of a damp area in front of it where the water is running out. But we no longer have the Mississippi River running down the street every time it rains. I think that, you know, in particular, the one that we have with our most active sump pump really does a fabulous job. Uh, our other uh, rain garden doesn't get uh, as much water from the sump pump, but it gets the rain water. And that will uh, fill up a little bit, and then you'll notice that in a couple of hours it's gone down. Well, I think that the, the design of the garden is, is a bit more complicated than, than I would have expected. And one thing that's kind of cool is that what will grow in your rain garden isn't necessarily what will grow in just a regular garden. One comment that we got from neighbors immediately was, Are, is this going to be a big mosquito nest? And the answer is no. It, it hasn't been a big mosquito nest because the water actually doesn't sit around for very long. But, you know, obviously it's not going to be something that everyone wants. It's something pretty, you know, ground level that everyone can do to have a little bit of a, an impact on uh, that water runoff and you know if, if you can do something simple like like this or even something more complex <laughs> like like this uh, it, it helps that it's kind of uh, a, a little thing that we can do here that uh, does a lot of good downstream for more information about stormwater water quality and the practices described in this video visit lakesuperiorstreams.org 
We thank Minnesota's Lake Superior Coastal Program and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for supporting this project.